Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamon here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Volt White 2 Redux. I was gonna say Volt White Redux 2, but no, it's Volt White 2 Redux, but who cares, right? Anyways, we are back here once again with this beautiful team. I did a little bit of grinding. Everyone is at least level 32 right now, um, so they are looking pretty good. We did have a couple of moveset changes while I was grinding them up a little bit. Um, Steven now has Smart Strike, which is a base 70 power move that never misses, so that's pretty good. I think that was introduced in Gen 8, I want to say? Was it in Gen 7? I don't even know. It might be Gen 7, actually, now that I think about it. Um, and then we have uh, Belaine that got Flame Wheel, which is base 75, over the Fire Fang that was base 65, so I feel like uh, Flame Wheel is just better. And uh, I think that's it for moveset changes, really. Yeah, um, Valerie didn't really learn anything new, so... Um, we should be good on that front. So, we are going to have a gym battle in today's episode. However, before we do that, I think I want to go over here and um, explore this route a little bit. Let's get the trainer. We'll give your Pokemon this. A Macho Brace. Hmm. Probably won't be using that, but... Um, I mean, it's a, it's a useful item. Um, but... I never really bother with that. So, anyways. Oh, we got a trainer right at the bat right here. So after last recording, I did stop recording because obviously I was, you know, I was still a little bit sick, but I wanted to at least record one episode. Um, so hopefully you guys still enjoyed that. But um, yeah, I was like after that, like, okay, um, this might not be a good idea. Let's just stop and let's just record another time. So feeling much better now. So we're going to, you know, hopefully record a lot right now so I can bring a lot of videos to you guys. Of course, that has always been the plan. And this Galaveler has Excel Rock. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of makes me want to get a Rock type so I can have a Rock type with Excel Rock. But either way, um, here comes the Duck Trio. Um, I think I'm fine. I'm just gonna go for the Covet right here. That's my strongest move. It goes for the Magnitude. We take it, and there we go. Goodbye, Duck Trio. Beautiful stuff. At level 33 for Valerie. See? Wait, does that learn Excel Rock? That would be crazy. Excel Rock Tyranitar? That that sounds kind of broken, not gonna lie. But hey, look at that. One power-up punch, and it's gone. See you later, Pupitar. So while I was sick, I also did play another ROM hack that um, kind of all, also wish I did that on a, a playthrough, but obviously I can't have two... I, I don't want to have two ROM hacks, uh, you know, running at the same time, so that's why I just wanted to play it for myself. Maybe in the future I'll do another playthrough of it and upload it, but it was a game called Pokemon Black and White 3 Genesis, so yeah, also in Unova, but it was really, really fun because it's really just, it was like a story after Black and White 2, so... Um, you had obviously the same region, but there were some different things in the region. And you started in Humula City, and then you went through a different order. And it kind of makes me wish that we actually do get a Black and White 3 in the future um, at some point. That'd be great. Um, obviously, we got Pokemon Legends ZA, Pokemon Legends ZA, that got announced. Um, I'm gonna lie, I was hoping for. You know, Gen 5 re well, kind of. I didn't want a Gen 5 remakes made by Oka, but like, if it was actually like a good Gen 5 remake, or like I said, a Black and White 3, I would be all for that. But I'm not upset, I'm not upset. Like, Pokemon Legends Z8 means we're gonna get Megas back and stuff like that, so I am okay with that. Um, it was just very unexpected. All right, see you later, Ardino. Give me your delicious experience. Yummy! Look at that. Almost level 33 from that. Um, this is another reason why I wanted to go here, because it opens up this route for me, so I can grind up if I feel I need to for the gym, or, you know, if I want to maybe, like, grind up my Servine um, to hopefully get a Superior. Um, because I kind of want to, and I, I'm thinking about switching out um, Milo for it, um, even though it is a Shiny, and even though it does kind of feel sad to get rid of a shiny. Um, it is not really what I wanted to use in the game, you know? I mean, 
I wanted to use a superior with Draco Meteor, Leaf Storm, that's a Grass Dragon type, because that sounds absolutely amazing, right? So, I think what we are going to do is we are going to replace Milo with Servine again, and actually use the superior. I think I want that the most. I'm gonna go for a revenge here. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if this is still double power, even though he missed his move. It doesn't look all that strong, but we're just gonna use it again. Oh my gosh, why do you use Detect? Uh, no, he's probably gonna put me to sleep. No, he's going for Hyper Fang. I should be able to take that, right? Yeah, easily. Stunfisk is... Stunfisk? Stunfisk is a monster. I don't have that much for you. I guess I can just discharge you. This thing is just going for confusion anyway. It's not even going for a grass type move. Which is very surprising. Go for the discharge. Good damage. No para. Oh, I should have gone for Sucker Punish, actually. That's fine. So the only problem is that if I want to get a superior, like, I have to get it to level 36, which... Um, I am kind of close to, but... I don't want to be too overleveled for the gym, you know, so I don't want to just get the 36 just to get a superior, so then I'm overleveled for the gym. Delicious experience for Steven. Look at that. Thank you, Audinos. I appreciate your assistance. We got a nice little Dawnstone right there. I don't know if I'll be needing to use that, but um, I'll definitely take it for now. All right, let's go into the Lost Lorn Forest right here. All right, what is in here? Sai ai ai! Oh, it's a Psyduck, okay. Nothing too interesting then. Let's go ahead and battle this breeder. See what he has for me. But yeah, I am definitely excited for Pokemon Legends. Uh, um, it's the Pokemon Z we've always needed, you know? Like, Zygarde kind of got um, done dirty by not having his own game. And now, we probably is going to get it. I have a feeling they are going to focus maybe on some Gen 6 Mega Evolutions, considering it's, it is taking place in Gen 6, and we didn't get any Gen 6 Megas last time. Besides Deancey, I believe. But yeah, juicy level up for Steven once again. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Thank you, Odno, for that. I appreciate it. Nice little leaf stone. Okay. Oh, Murkrow. That's kind of cool. Alright, now let's just throw a Pokeball. And hopefully that'll be enough. Didn't even shake. Wow. Do you want a Dream Ball? Wow, it's not even shaking. It's asleep and low health. And it's not even shaking. If only I had some, like, Great Balls or Ultra Balls. I won. Nope. Random Timer Ball, go! See if that does anything. One. Nope. Alright, screw this, Murkrow. I don't need it. Oh, we got another trainer right here. We are totally in sync. Are you now? Are you now? Alright, what do you got, Serenity? You got Eradicate. A Nazlo Ray. A Fire Fang? Oh gosh, that was kind of scary, not gonna lie. Let's use Smart Strike. See, that is a 2 at KO, but I don't want to get taken out, so I'm gonna go into Blaine right here. Hopefully he goes for another Fire Fang. Let's see. Hell yeah. Get that Flash Fire. Go for a Flame Wheel. See you later, Eradicate. Alright, Mudkip coming out. Okay, interesting. Um... I guess we should switch, maybe? Let's just go for a strength. Probably my strongest move right now. Yeah, look at that damage. Ooh, Aqua Tail. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. I'm not expecting him to already have Aqua Tail as a Mudkip like that. Okay. I guess we're going to one. It's probably what I should have done, to be honest. Go with the bulldoze. Alright, here comes Pinzer. We do have a Raging Fury. Let's see if that'll be enough to kill, uh, to knock him out. Ooh, not quite. But we will live the X-Scissor. And take him out now! There we go, very nice. Once learned Hone Claws. 
Ooh, that could be pretty good in combination with Aqua Tail. As much as I like Raging Fury, I think it's gonna be not as good compared to the rest. Because obviously Ice Fang is gonna be both good against Grass and Dragon types. Um, but Raging Fury is only really good against Grass types, I guess. Because uh, we have both those for Steel types. So I think I think we'll go rid of Raging Fury. As much as I like, hate to do it, because you know it's a new move and all that. Well, kind of. It obviously wasn't Legends Arceus, but you know what I mean. Anyways, go for the Ice Fang. Hopefully I can get through Confusion. Nope, I do not. Unfortunately. Alright, I guess it's up to Clement. We're kind of getting destroyed by this trainer, not gonna lie. Oh, I actually outspeed the Togetic. That's surprising. Alright, almost a one-shot. Stun Visk is a beast! Goodbye, Togetic. Alright, there we go. I should probably go back to heal up. I don't know if there's any more trainers here, though. Huh! Okay, so we are or some rare grass, but this time it's an Emolga. Interesting. Alright, and level 34 for Steven. Look at that. Alright, let's explore the rest of this forest. Oh, right, this guy keeps rebattling me. Uh, I'll be right back. Well... At least this trainer is good for leveling up because of his Audino. That is level level 33, almost level 34. Ooh, almost level 34, okay. Alright, let's see what else is here. We got another breeder right here that we didn't battle yet. Forest in the forest has a Jinx. Oh, I like that matchup. That's a pretty good matchup for me. Because I... Oh no! Well, I guess I'll go for Bite. Freaking Trace, man. Ooh, nice little flinch. It didn't matter. Level 34 for Blade now, as well. And in comes Pseudo Wudo. I don't want to stay in and go for Scorching Sands, but at the same time, I don't think that's a good idea. Rock Slide, Stunfisk can take that easily. And now we're just gonna go for a nice little Mud Shot. Should be a two shot at least. Yeah, it is. Firo coming out, that's good for me as well. But this thing might have like Drill Run or something silly like that. Uh, let's just go for the charge, anyways. Focus energy. Alright. That's fine. Discharge. There we go. Nice job, Clement. Level 35. Beautiful. Bounce. Um, I don't think I really need bounce. I don't like it. It's a two-turn move. I, I I don't get stabbed from it. So, oh, it would have been nice here though against this thing. Uh, I'm gonna over discharge anyways. Let's see what we can do. I think I am going to try to get a superior. Um, just by maybe like grinding up with some Audinos before we do the gym. Because I mean, we're already like level 35 with Clement anyway, so. Let's go to Milo. I should be able to take a bug bite and then just outspeed him. There we go, here comes the Milo. I might keep Milo around for the upcoming gym and just. Maybe like box for Relegator because he's not gonna be that good against the gym. Considering he's a water type. A grip claw as well. I forgot what that does, honestly. Let's go in this uh, hidden grotto. It's the first time we encountered one of these. Oh. Oh. That's, that's a Bulbasaur. Oh, I don't have. This is another grass starter, though, so I probably won't even be using it. Uh, but let's see if we can catch it anyways. Here it is, a Bulbasaur. Alright, try one more Mega Drain. That should get him down pretty low. Okay, and now... I guess we'll throw a Dream Ball, maybe? Come on. Oh, are you serious? Three! There we go, nice. 
Okay, didn't even need to put him to sleep. Probably won't be using this, but um, it's nice to catch one anyways. Hello, sir. Hi, Trainer. You're a Pokedex, I see. I'm a traveler. I enjoy trekking around the world and talking with various people. By the way, do you know a Pokemon called Zoros? Yeah. Z Zoros? Zorork. Yes. Great. Are you armed with knowledge so that it won't trick you? It's your choice to trust it and be tricked, or to live in doubt. I enjoy talking with you. This is a small present. Ooh, Snarl! That's a pretty good move. They say Zorok settled in around here about two years ago. It changed the appearance of this grassland with its illusion ability and tricked people in Pokemon. It's an outrageous rumor, but a rumor has some truth in it. Every rumor has a kernel of truth to it. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
we got some characters over here. If anyone gave me an extra drink for free, I'll share the spoil with you. Ooh, we can have a little fresh water. Thank you for that, sir. Um, I guess we can use some more lemonades. Well, that's a wild licky licky. That's different. Um, I was trying to grind up Rassius, um, so we could maybe, like, get a superior, but, um... I was not expecting a Licky Licky to show up. Very interesting. Also, yeah, I have Archie on my team. I'll explain why in a little bit. Alright, something else I should do is probably get some more balls. Get some great balls. There we go. Um... We got some lemonades. We don't really need hyper potions, do we? I do would like to get some revives. And can I get full heals yet? No, unfortunately not. So that's kind of sad. Um, yeah, I think I'm good for now. Then, what do you sell, though? Did I ever talk to you? Ooh, technical machines. Gyro ball. Thunder wave. Ooh, Chinchino is here too in the rare grass. Interesting. Ooh, Brush just wants to learn Heart Stomp. Huh, that's not a move I expected. I don't know if I want it though. Alright, here we go. I have grinded up some things and changed Metang out for now for Archie because we are going to be fighting Flannery. I decided to just get up to level 33 because I'm not going to be using him after this anyway, so I just wanted to be a decent level. Um, Brashius, I'm going to give you the Eviolite for now um, because obviously Metang doesn't have it. So I'll give it to you and then I'll give you... I guess we'll give you the Scope Lens for now. I think. Yeah, there she is. Um, but yeah, I wanted to switch out Matang because he's weak to fire. Uh, same with um, Milo, of course. So that's why I have Brashius. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how we can do against Flannery here. And after that, we will move our way to Elisa's gym. Here we go. Whoa, this place is big. It's nothing like my home time. I'm Flannery. I'm the one who's in charge of the Leverage Dim Town Gym in Hoenn. The atmosphere here is so we did. I I'm simply burning to Milo. Let's exchange some super hot moves. Yes, I'm going to demonstrate how hot moves I honed. I once. Whoa, well, I cannot. I cannot read. I didn't know what she said. Something about honing skills in the volcano. Um, here we go. Ponyta coming out first. All right, that's fine. Here we go. We get the intimidate off. Um, I'm going to set up some spikes. Cause what can this Ponyta really do to me? Solar Beam? I mean, that's fine. That's a two-turn move. I'm just going to set up another layer of spikes. Take that. How much is this going to do? This shouldn't do that much. Okay, you know, that did more than I thought. Um, let's set up a layer of Toxic Spikes as well, though. Alright, let's actually go for an Aqua Jet here. Do some damage. Yeah, look at that. Nice little two hit. Oh, but then you get Flame body. Well, that means I'm kind of gone because of the burn. All right, well, at least I got my hazards up. That's fine. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to go into one here. Um, he's probably going to go for Solar Beam, but since it's a two-turn move, I can set up Home Claws. Right? Yeah, going for Solar Beam again. Absorbing Light. So you don't have the sun up. I am okay. Go for the bulldoze. He's probably gonna have a drought twerkle though in the end. Or right now. Here's a drought, right? Well at least she gets poisoned. Oh no drought! Okay. Well, goodbye Torkoal then. Well this should be a clean wand sweep then. Okay. Maybe a little overprepared for no reason. But, um, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. See you later, Macargo. Level 36 for one. Yeah, I don't think we need, really needed all those hazards, but... That's fine. Alright. I, I just remember these, like, 
gym leader battles being a lot more difficult than this. But I will gladly take this win. Oh, we got a choice band? Oh, that makes me think I kind of missed out on a lot of items from the other guys. Oh boy. Well, at least we got one now, right? Wow, that's kind of OP to be honest. Choice man? Jeez. Ah, this is really tough for me. I think I'm definitely putting Matang back and getting rid of Quailfish. I think I am going to say goodbye to Jumpla for now and use Brashes and try to get a superior. Let's go ahead and move on over to the right side. Might be some other things here that we need to be doing. Like this area. Maybe some more training right here. Let's hop in. That's a little roller coaster. This used to obviously be the gym in black and white one, but now there's just some trainers here. Okay, you're not even a trainer battles me. See that green outline there on my character? That's kind of crazy. Oh, there we go. There's a trainer. Hey there, are you cool riding a roller coaster? Do I overwhelm you? We'll see about that. Level 31, not really that high. Um, so I should be able to handle that pretty easily. Let's go for a Dragon Breath. Fake out, really. Alright. Ooh, a nice little paralysis. Oh, but then you're gonna paralysis me. Because you have Nuzzle! Why? I don't like that. Well, Stomp. Oh no, he's gonna paraflinch me. <sighs> I do not want to sit here getting paraflinched, so I'm just gonna switch out. Stop flinching me! Oh my... Jeez. Are you serious? What is the chances to flinch with Stomp? Isn't it like 10%? My gosh. Get this stupid Blitzel out of my face. All right, in comes Tynamo. You have Levitate. Which I do not like very much. I guess we'll go back into Bashes. Got the tackles. We should be fine. Oh, come on, man. Can I stop getting hacks to death? Bro, are you serious? There we go. Jeez. Level 35 for Brashes. Very nice. Ah, man. Do I need to go back to heal up or do I have a Paralyzed Heal right here? I have a Paralyzed Heal. Good, good, good. Probably should have used that in battle. I apologize, guys. You guys probably gotta be yelling at me. Use the Paralyzed Heal. Alright, fine. I should've. I know. Hit this. Probably gonna be another trainer in here. A female rich lady. Yep, there she is. Lady Colette. A nice little dragon breath. Here we go. Just don't use something like Thunder Wave or just go dragon breath. I have more dragon breath PP, so I'll go for that. Goodbye, Plusle. Batterisu coming out. Actually, I actually feel like lead cheating this. I'm gonna lead cheat it. Alright, goodbye, Pachirisu. And of course, you have the Minin as well. Alright, see you later, Minin. Can I get a level 36 from that? Hey, there we go. Does that mean we're gonna get a nice little evolution? That'd be great. There we go. It's time. It's time for the Superior. Wazam! Look at that thing. Ah, so cool. I love Superior, man. What's on Breaking Swipe? That's a physical move, isn't it? It's base 60. It's not bad. But I think... We'll give up on Breaking Swipe for now. We'll keep the Dragon Breath, because it's stronger. And I think my special attack is higher, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's a little bit higher, not by much though. Uh, but obviously when we get like the Draco Meteor or Leaf Storm, it's obviously going to be better to have special moves. Do you actually battle me? I'm sorry, you Mr. Shilas left. Take this. Paralyze heal. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll give you a numerical seed. It's like the best thing I could probably give you right now. 
All right. Now we have a beautiful superior. Um, let's, however, switch Steven up front because he needs some catch up on levels. And we'll uh, go ahead and do the gym. I don't know how long this episode's going to be, but I wanted to do this. I want to do this gym in this episode. Probably cut a few things out here and there. <clears throat> we got the Ferris wheel as well that we could do. Um, all it really does is we battle a trainer and you get to see the Ferris wheel. I might do that in the next episode. We we'll, might start with that. But I just want to get the gym done uh, in this episode. Here's a shell bell. Ooh, that could actually be good. Maybe I should give that. What do you think? Surprise, right? This gym is... Speaking frankly, a glittering fashion show and a dazzling stage. Well, for now, I'll give you this. Very fresh. In this Pokemon gym, we'll have you proceed by defeating the trainers waiting on a catwalk. By the way, electric-type Pokemon don't do well against ground-type moves. Oh, but ground-type moves don't work against a Pokemon called Omoga. So please be careful. Alright, well, we have Bulldoze on Metang, so we should be fine, right? Here we go, first trainer. Welcome to the Nimbasa gym. A stylish Pokemon battle and a fashion show created by Pokemon and trainers is starting now. Girls, we bring the boys out. Cool. Alright, level 33, so I think I'm gonna be a decent level for Elisa. I feel like Elisa's gonna be like level 36. Maybe even higher than that. Oh, that Thunderbolt did way too much damage. Are you rapping me? Like, what? Um, okay. You have a Luxray as well. Yeah, that did a little bit too much damage. Uh, I have an Eevee Light on as well. <clears throat> I guess we'll go into um, our trusty little Stun Fisk right here. Hopefully he goes for an electric move. Nope, he's going for Crunch. Wow, that was a crit. But at least I got the static. I did way too much damage. That has to be like... I think this Luxray has strong job and it's also part dark. Let's see how much this does without a crit. Okay, we can take another, as long as he doesn't crit. And we have speed, we can mud shot. Drop a speed. Ooh, we missed Ice Fang. Good, good, good. Exactly what we needed. See you later. Goodbye, Luxray. Steven level 35, very nice. Wants to learn scary face, no thank you. And here comes a Moga. Okay. Just, do you have motor drive? I don't remember. Yep, you do have motor drive. Okay. So electric, it just did not work on you. Maybe I should put a rock. Why do you use? Uh, why do you have single speed? I honestly kind of forgot. I'm not gonna lie. And you outspeed me because I gave you a speed boost. That's kind of annoying, man. That's annoying. Alright, let's go ahead to play. And now you go for... Uh, this, they, they're reading me. They're reading me like a book. Alright, fine. I guess I'm just gonna have to get taken down. Valerie, let's go out here and... Covet. There we go. That Amoga was annoying. Jeez. I need to put a rock move on my... Um, Stunfisk, because then I can take care of the Amoga pretty easily. Well, oh, can anyone learn Snarl? Uh, Valerie can learn it, but that's not going to be very useful. Psyshock, Steven can learn it, but we have Psychic. We'll get rid of Revenge on Clement, just so that I have something for Amoga. Because I know Elisa Aless has an Amoga as well. Alright, let's continue on with the second trainer right here. What I like about this gym is that the music actually progressively changes um, the more trainers you beat for you get into the catwalk. Fleming with the Rotom. Oh boy. Um, well, you're part thingy majiggy. You're part um, ice, so I can actually. Oh, you have Will Wisp. Of course you do. This is gonna do like nothing. I'm just gonna go for Psychic anyways. We'll see what happens. I think I could take another Discharge. Not when he crits me. That's unfortunate. Well then, this gym is gonna be kind of a pain, not gonna lie. Flame Wheel. Should knock this thing out though. Alright. 
Okay, what else do you have? You have a Flappy. Okay. Well, let's see how much Scorching Sands does. Oh, wait, we have Choice Band. Right. I should probably get rid of Choice Scorching Sands then if we have a Choice Band. Oh my god, look at that damage! The Choice Band at Flame Wheel, that was some damage, dude. Jeez. We are A okay. May Neck Trick. Oh, and it has Intimidate? Oh boy. Um, well. I guess we can go into Clement. As long as he doesn't go for like an Ice Fang or something like that. Psychic Fangs! I wasn't expecting that. But that's fine. Now you go for the Ice Fang. Of course you do. But that did actually nothing. Wow. Stunfisk, you are a beast. Mudshot is a nice two-hit KO. I definitely outspeed now. See you later, Manectric. Beautiful level 36 for Clement. I'm playing level 36 as well. What's in the lava plume? No, thank you. We are a physical attacker. All right. All right. We had one casualty there, but overall that wasn't too bad. Let's see what we got next. Another beauty, of course. With a Magneton. Alright. Watch him go for Tunnel Wave again. Just to be annoying. Charge me. Okay. He's getting the boost, but I should be able to take another one. And it should be able to one shot. Or not. Okay. A little surprising, because it's four times super effective. Nice. Alright. Oh, you have a Stun Fisk as well. Well, that's a ground type. Um. Yeah, I can also go into Brashus. Probably the best bet here. Resist all of its stabs. Nice. And I get a speed boost because of Contrary. Lovely. I love Contrary. It's so good. Leaf Tornado is a nice, juicy one shot. I guess we can just stay in, right? Go for another Leaf Tornado. Miracle Seed boosted. Did not do as much as I was have hoped. Ooh, Boom Burst is in this game. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. No damage. Basically, no damage. Aura Ooh, what? Electro gets Aura Sphere? That's crazy. I really buffed up Electrode, huh? Well, Willow Punch, goodbye. Oh, you have another one? You have Jolteon? Okay. Alright, Clement it is. I'm debating whether or not I should switch out for Alligator for Milo, maybe? Because obviously for Alligator is weak to Electric. And Milo is just neutral to it. But, I mean, Acrobatic's not really gonna do much. I mean, Mega Drain can, but we already have grass type, so... I don't know. I think we should be fine. Feraligator has a ground move as well, so it could come in handy. And here we have Elisa. There she is. Give me what I need. Man, the gyms are so cool in this game. They're so unique. Look at this, man. So cool. So awesome. I wonder if I should lead with Clement, because I think he's going to lead out with Amoga. Um, and I don't know, don't think the Amoga is going to really be able to do again, much against Clement. And I can just Rock Tomb it, right? Because what's going to have, like, I guess it's gonna, it can have Signal Beam, because that's what we saw last time. And I just want to sit here and listen to this music for a bit. I love this music. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and start this battle, shall we? Welcome to the main stage. My beloved Pokemon and your Pokemon shall compete. We're going to see whose star shines brightest. Here we go. Elisa. There she is. With an Amolga. That's what I thought. 
Okay, well, you can't Volt Switch on me, because I know you love doing that. Um, let's just go for a Raccoon. Oh, you do have U-Turn as well, okay. Well, either way, I'm gonna lower something speed. Okay, Lantern, okay. I'm gonna break your Balloon. That's huge, already. You're definitely going for Water Move. Your Pokemon moves are simply dazzling, thank you. So I'm gonna go to Brashus. Here we go. Don't go for Ice Beam. I drop him. We four times resist that. Hmm. Lovely. Let's go for Leaf Tornado. Is, sh is Miracle Seed boosted? It should knock it out in one hit, right? Maybe not. That's... Wow. Okay, it took that really well. But I lowered its accuracy, so that's really good. Alright, does this KO? Ah, thankfully. Alright, good. In comes Electabuzz. Tempted to go into Stunfisk again, but let's go set up a Leech Heat first. Oh, he might have Ice Punch. I should have switched out. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. That just one-shots me, right? Yeah. Oof. Um, and you have a Life Orb? Well, let's intimidate you. If you're a physical attacker, I think that'll be pretty useful here. Let's go set up a power punch. Oh, we get the quick claw as well. Oh, you have you have special moves as well. Damn. Okay. All right. I did not expect that. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you were just gonna be physical. Oh, this sucks. Um. Drop a flame wheel. Choice bandit. Static, really? That really, that really screwed me over. That is really rough. I'm gonna go to Clown here. He's either gonna go for an electric move or a power jam. Power jam, yeah. Okay. I kinda wanna heal the paralysis on you. Do I have anything to heal the paralysis? Yeah, I kinda wanna just get rid of that. That's gonna be annoying. Does have Dragon Pulse? How much does that do? Too much. Okay. Let's go. Let's switch again. Let's go into Steven. I'm doing a lot of switching here, but I can. There you go, Focus Blast. Well, that's not what I expected. Are you kidding me, dude? Another crit, and you land the Focus Blast. All right. Well. Um. I guess we'll just take this opportunity to um, heal up. Okay, he's gonna fold switch, so he's gonna send out something else. Probably back into a Moga, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I figured. I figured it was gonna be a U turn. So, what are you gonna U turn in for us? No Zep Strike. Oh, that's huge. Here we go. Mud Shot. Oh, that's beautiful. Get a nice little speed drop as well. Oh, but you have White Herb. Interesting. Bounce. I mean, I resist that. So I'm okay with that. If I get paralyzed as well. Because of static. How do you go for bounce? That's so weird. Alright. Goodbye, Substrika. Now he's gonna go into Ampharos. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Mud Shot. Dragon Pulse is gonna hurt. Let's see, um, is this a two shot? Oh, you have a Shaka Berry, definitely not. Alright, this is what I do. He's not going for an electric move, so this is the only time I'm gonna be able to go into one here. I can take that. What is more? Aqua Tail Bulldoze. It's base 100. It's base 60. So I'm just gonna go for an Aqua Tail here. And miss! Lovely! I should've just gone for Bulldoze. Okay, do I predict a U-turn here again? No, I'm gonna play it safe. Um, and go for Lemonade and heal up. Light Screen. Oh, that's kind of annoying. 
Well, it's Rock Tomb then. Oh, you are going for your turn. Oh, this Ampharos is gonna be annoying. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Oh, nice little crit. Okay. Let's go for Mud Shot. I do not outspeed even after the speed drop. I am very slow. Are you kidding me, dude? How many times am I going to miss? My only hope here. This is very rough. My only hope here is that I can just one shot everything else with Blaine here. With a choice band and Flame Wheel. Let's see. Flame Wheel? Don't paralyze me with static, please. Wait, you're part dragon. Okay, I'll live. I'll live. Don't paralyze me. No, you have a hyper potion. Are you serious? Oh, well, I'm done. It's over. It's over. I guess I can try this. But I don't think it's gonna matter. Like, I don't think Dragon Breath is going to one shot. Let's see. I also didn't know it was part dragon. Oh, wait, this is gonna. Oh, a crit. Wait a second. Oh, but the Amoga is gonna have, like, natural gift. No, I think I'm good. Okay, hold on. Amoga. Okay, what do I do here? Because you are not damaged yet. I think I have to do this. I think I have to revive Clement. Oh, he got paralyzed. Okay. Huge. Let's go for Eliminate on Clement. It's the only way I can, I can win this. Acrobatics? Yeah, I'm gone. Goodbye. But it's Amoga? You cannot touch my Stunfisk. So, I think we're good. Stunfisk is gonna pull through after getting revived here. We're going for Rock... Wait, oh yeah, it's being just paralyzed. That's right. Rock Tomb? Yeah, you're going for Light Screen, but that's fine. Rock Tomb is a physical move. I can just spam this until you get knocked out. Man, I can't believe we actually managed to do that. It's only because we got a crit with Dragon Breath. I don't think otherwise Dragon Breath would have knocked out the Ampharos. Because Ampharos has a lot of special defense. You shocked me through and through, you melted my heart. But, I mean, we got hexed as well, so, like, I will take that crit and that win. Because that was... That was annoying. Well, now you are, you're even more wonderful trainer than I expected. Your sweet fighting style swept me off my feet. Take this. Here we go, our next gym badge. Let's go. That was probably the hardest gym um, so far. And I thought Stunfisk was gonna do really well there, and he, he did, he did, don't get me wrong, but like, not as well as I thought, because that Ampharos was a pain. If you have four badges, including this bolt badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including trade Pokemon, I will obey you. Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it if you want to. Volt Switch. That's not a bad move. Volt Switch lets the Pokemon switch with a different Pokemon after attacking. Of course, if you don't have another Pokemon in your party, you can switch. Well, yeah, of course. You kind of also saw that with your the U-turn on your Amoga. Oh, here we go. And one more thing. Wait! Please walk with us. Dynamite, so cool, stunning! Bravo, Dynamite, woo, wonderful! A shining sample of a trainer. Since that's what you are, you should be able to collect all the gym badges and reach the Pokemon League. Then, you and your Pokemon will shine even brighter. Well, thanks so much, Elisa. And thank you all for watching this episode. I don't know how long this is going to be. I've been recording for an hour and a half, but it's probably not going to be that long after cutting and stuff like that. Um, and after, you know, getting rid of all the grinding that I did off screen. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to get the gym in this episode so that the next episode we can move to Driftville City and um, probably do some juicy stuff there. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed for now. I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.